Hey guys, it's May May and my trusty sidekick. Oh, Vinny's here. He's What's here. Up? <laughs> what? What's that? <laughs> I don't know. Just felt Try like something new. Air. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? What in the world, Mister? Oh my goodness, he's here. He's back in all his glory. Y'all get ready. It's gonna be something else. I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be fine. You think it'll be all right? Yeah. You can calm down. Yeah. Do you need to do some meditation? No, I don't care. What's up, everybody? Welcome into the show today. I'm going to be honest with you. It's going to be a weird day for me because I'm in one of them places. Just weird. Just weird. Well, you know, it's been one of them weeks. Just, a, just, just I'm just in a weird space. Very little sleep this week. <laughs> <laughs> We've had some wild... Y'all like stories. We'll tell you when later. Nights, I guess we'll you We'll tell you in the say. after show. I shouldn't say wild because it makes it sound like it was bad, but... <laughs> You know, just weird. Um, Thank you, Naoka. Oh, my goodness. Have you already posted that on your social media? I did. I, see how little Look, I read? I was proud. Wait, where did you post it? I guarantee it's Facebook because I won't see it till yes, like, tomorrow or something. <laughs> Hey guys, today we're going to do a first look at the cut line from Misty. And when I say a first look, that doesn't mean the first time you've seen it. You've probably seen this. Um, this is my first look. I literally took it out of the box this morning and I boxed it back up so you guys could see it boxed back up. And can I get this a little, let me, oh, I'm going to mess up if I do something. I'm not, I'm not doing it. Okay. So the cut line is a really super cool tool that I saw um, Ileana demonstrate back at the, um, not, not at it, but from videos from the Creativation. And I saw a video on her channel about it, and I fell in love uh, in love with the idea of it, and I wanted to see if we liked it. So we do, or we did, have some in store. Do we still? Do we know? I haven't checked this morning. You didn't know I was doing this. So I, I should have told not. you. But I mean, I brought in quite a few of them to start with, so we should have some of these in store. But I got to show y'all something. The first thing I'm going to tell you, in classic Misty style, the quality of this ruler is insane. I am not kidding. I want to see it. I want to be able to relay to you just how amazing this ruler is. First off, look at the thickness of this ruler. This is not me holding it at an angle. That's me holding it straight up. You probably could show it from the from the side of it and see That's like a good that. idea. Good idea. See, the, see, that's why I have you here, bud. Look how thick how this thick. ruler is. It's matter of fact, I'm going to measure it with another ruler. The thickness. <laughs> Let's just see. It is a little over an eighth of an inch thick. And in comparison, let's do it like this. I want, this is a great way to show you. Now, they are not the same rulers, okay? They do. They The cut line does something really cool. I'll show you in a minute. But I want to show you a comparison of my Tim Holtz versus the uh, Misty cut line Look at the difference in that. Can you and see I mean, that? that Tim Holtz ruler has been like a favorite for ever. Oh, I love it. It's going nowhere in my collection. I just want to, I just want to show y'all the thickness versus what you probably already have at home. I was extremely impressed when I picked this guy up. And the other thing I love, now I'm going to tell y'all, there was a time when I had this little tiny ruler. It was a six inch ruler, which most people would think is ridiculous, but I loved it. I used it for card making all the time and they discontinued it. And I couldn't understand what they discontinue everything, right? They discontinued Same that like little that. ruler. Well, the thing I love is I can keep this one on my desk and this is a beautiful ruler as well as a tool for other things in a second. So in the package, another thing I'm on, I'm on rave about this because I think she does a good job of this. The other thing I love is she doesn't make you purchase one. You get both. Yeah. So you get the small eight inch, which I feel like my card making friends are going to use like crazy. Okay. And you get a um, 15 inch ruler, 15 inches. <laughs> Ribbon curl, six inches. I really thought, I don't know about a 15 inch ruler, but I'm going to tell you something. This guy is going to be handy in the craft room. And what it does, even, even amazing. Okay. So this is called the cut line for this reason. Number one, there are all kinds of alignment marks, and I'm going to change this to white. Let me do that now so you guys can see it. Are you going to find something? Yeah. Oh, you're just going to use your I card just walked, I just walked away. Well, yeah, you could have said cover for me or something. <laughs> I don't know how to do live shows. It's my first one. <laughs> Jeez. It's my first time being here. Jeez I, I appreciate y'all having me. Okay. Let's look at it like this. Let me zoom. Oh, I'm going to mess up. Jordan's going to be mad at me. All right. Oh, 
oh, it's working. Okay. I was nervous about that Why one. Are you shocking yourself? Yeah. He's probably going to come in here and go, what are you doing, woman? Okay. Thank you, Jennifer. Check it out. Here's my pokey tool so I can point. Look how beautiful this ruler is. Does anybody else get nerdy about this stuff like I do? Because I totally do. I don't think so. All right. It has all... <laughs> if you love this... If you love this like I do, I want y'all to tell me. Okay, I want you to look across the top first. I want you to notice here that we have one sixteenth and one eighth inch marks. Do you see that? One sixteenth, one eighth inch. If you don't know that tiny mark is a sixteenth, and the long mark, well, I shouldn't say it that way. Okay. Look at Kathy Champion posting her link. I'm so proud. Every mark is a sixteenth, except every two is an eighth. That doesn't confuse you at all. I need to do a new measuring video for folks and see how my brain will work for that. So, you have your 16th and your 8th inch marked clearly, but I love this. You have half an inch. This is a half inch. How do you say that? Half an inch? That's how I half say it. Inch. So, this is a half inch mark, another half inch mark, and then all of your inches. Look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the other one goes to 15. By the way, they're the same. I just want to use the smaller one. Okay. Now, the other thing you get with this ruler is a centering ruler. Now, you've got this on your Tim Holtz ruler. You probably never use it. I actually use mine. See the zero right there and it runs out to the other numbers? That's your centering ruler there, but you have one here as well. She didn't skimp, y'all. She didn't miss anything. Here's your zero. goes all the way out to four, okay? And your zero goes all the way out to four. On this one, here's this is amazing. Your zero is here and it goes all the way out to seven and a half because it's a 15 inch ruler pretty cool right okay back to this little guy now you have all of these little markings that look like nothing but they all mean something okay so in the middle of this ruler what makes it unique let me find something to show you that here's a little piece here okay piece of card stock in the middle of this ruler there is a slot Okay, and I mean, and it's a slot. It is not a gap. It's a slot. This is a piece of cardstock, and it's in there. You see that? I love that. I'm going to show you why in a minute. But this is what changes this dude, okay? This is what gives you this opportunity to do all kinds of cool things. All right, so around the slot, so you know where the slot is. The slot is right here, okay? Around the slot, you're going to notice these horizontal lines, there's four horizontal lines going up. Those are one sixteenth away from each other. And this one is one sixteenth away from the cut line. This one is two six. This is one eighth away. This is three sixteenth. And this is a, um, a quarter of an inch away because those are sixteenth inches. Okay. I'm so proud. You, I can do you that. You stunned me with your measuring skills. Measuring, I, I'm telling you, I see this rule and it makes sense. But if you gave me math equation, if you got, if you did two plus two times three, I'm done. I'm just done. Wow. <laughs> that, it, that really is because that's 12, right? Which I can't do either. Okay. Now then, even better. On the bottom side, you see all these little grids? These are one eighth inch. All of these are eighth inch marks. Okay, but she even gives you, guys, see these little lines right here? They all help you line up. These are a sixteenth of an inch apart from each other, and they all help us line up. We'll look at them in a few minutes. You even have these little um, one sixteenth marks on the side, and at the bottom of the ruler, I'm going to flip it around, at the bottom of the ruler, she gives you a grid. So the little, the little edge here is one sixteenth. These are one eighth, and then inside of here are half inch. These You can kind of see that. Okay. Amazing. I think this is the coolest thing ever and you're going to love this. Okay. So let me show you what it's used for. Let me get this out of the way. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit just so we can operate here and I need to get some ink and a block. Now, when a club member purchases it, there's no discount for this because it's a Misty product, correct? That's correct. Misty, Misty products, they allow us to do um, so many sales a year and sometimes she lets me do extra when I ask. Um, but that's not something we can do all the time. So that's why we can't, we can't do that 15% every day on this product. Some pro we have very few products like that. I think this is the only one that's an, and we can't discount. No, I take that back. This one and the Gina Marie dies. The Gina Marie we dies. can't do every day. And some people were, have been getting that discount on the Gina Marie dies, but that was a mistake. But Oh, so we had an error. 
we had an error to the, on the, but it was good for them. Just not helping good for them. me and you. Yeah, it was, that's okay. <laughs> but it's been corrected, I'm assuming. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to show you this, and I'm going to use two different. I need to. I need to point this out as well. Okay, so here's a little education for you. Some of you already know this, so th don't think I'm fixing to make you brilliant. Okay, see this one here. Better. Uh, let me tell y'all because somebody's going to ask. This stamp set is. Um, do you know it? <laughs> Critter Christmas. This is Critter Christmas stamp set that I'm using. Here's the clean one. This is so cute. Okay. So these two sentiments I'm going to use as a sample today. Do you notice how this sentiment here, it says up on the hoof top, but see how it has these lines that come down on the peas? Those are called descenders. When you have a font, they have descenders. And sometimes we love descenders and sometimes we don't. And I have to deal with them all the time in stamp set design. But this one has descenders. We're going to use it. Now, do you see this block kind of font? It doesn't have descenders, so it's different. So I'm going to be showing you how to use both of these styles of fonts. Because 90% of what you're going to do is going to be one of those two fonts. There's, I don't know that there even is a different one. Either descenders or no descenders. Descendants or no descendants. That's what it is. All right, so I'm going to load up one on a block. I'm going to load up another one on a block. And I tell you what, I'm not going to use this whole big piece of cardstock. That's wasteful. I'm going to use this little scrap strip I have in my scraps because that's not wasteful. Okay, at the top of the page here, I'm just using Versafine because it's my favorite sentiment ink, and it's also great to show you this on camera. Um, this one says, I'll be home for Christmas. I'll be home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and watch this. I'm going to do it like messy. So it's not perfectly straight. We're not playing with perfectly straight. I don't want to. I want to show you how to make it perfectly straight. That's what's the cool thing. Now, this is cool just because it works, but I'm going to show you how it doesn't really matter if you're if you can eyeball perfectly straight or not. And this guy, I'll try to do a little straighter. Okay. Now, this is perfect for my card making friends that want those little sentiment strips. But you know how hard it is. You think it's not, but you know how... Let me get my trimmer. Do you see the Cricut trimmer anywhere? I never find anything in here. Okay. Amy Jo pulled a... Uh... New math thing on us. If my name was Amy Jo, I would go by Amy Jo. I love that. Amy Jo says two plus two times three equals eight. The rule is you multiply first. Oh, gosh. I don't even want to talk about that. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the discussion <laughs> that we had at dinner just last night. Okay. See how this is crooked? See how that's crooked on there? And if you wanted to use your ruler, I mean, your trimmer to do this and line this up, you don't really have anywhere. I've always done this. I've always used this edge of my trimmer blade to line up the sentiment underneath. But honestly, that means I can only cut it to one width. I can't have any adjustment there. And I'm using crooked paper, which means I have to hold it perfectly straight, yada, yada. Okay, watch the difference. Okay, we got a question. Can I throw it in? Yes. Um, Aggie asked, can the measurement measurements eventually rub off? She said that happens to her rulers. Um, I... I mean, you just opened it, so let I me guess say it's this. hard to say. This is my Tim Holtz ruler I've used for a very long time, but I've seen lots of people who, whose rulers uh, look really bad where they have rubbed off. What I will tell you is the rule, just like the numbers are, are the information's printed on here, it is the same here. So if you struggle with that, then yes, I, I don't have that issue. I don't know what causes that, but I see like. Um, like Amanda's got a ruler that has just been beat up. Like there's hardly any stuff left on it. It's not just the one that stays at her desk that we all use. I'm not saying Amanda's mm. rough on it. It's just the one we all kind of share. All right. So here's the deal. Remember I showed you those little lines on the inside? All right. This is the sentiment that doesn't have descenders. Am I zoomed in enough? I don't want to over zoom because I don't want to um, make you guys like squint or whatever. But here's what you do. So you, you use your cutting blade. Okay, but I don't want to use it just yet. I want to point a little bit. And you're going to take these 1 16th lines or you're going to take these 1 8th lines and you're going to line it up at the end of your sentiment. All right, so I need to do it this way. Okay, so if I wanted to have a 16th of an inch of a strip, if I wanted it to be that close, here's what I would do. I would line the bottom of my sentiment up. By the way, I've not used this before, so this is the first for me as well. We just got a mem. 
and I'm trying, it's hard to see. Hold on, I got to get under this microphone. Okay. So talk amongst yourselves. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so what I've got here is I've lined that 1 16th line up on the bottom of that sentiment. Now, something she talks about is something I also try to teach you guys, but a lot of people don't get this, okay? When you're using a blade, don't try to cut it in one pass. Do you know why? No. When you do that, you apply so much pressure and so much pull that you're going to move your page. You're just going to. You're going to move the ruler, all that kind of stuff. So what you do is you make multiple passes as if you were writing with a pencil. I've been saying this forever, and I agree with it. I think it's the way to go. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your blade into the slot, and without trying to put pressure, you're just going to go through several times. You'll feel when it's through. See? Mine's through. Okay, now look. And it's going to look all crooked right now. See it? But look, And that's kind of cool, too. I would love to be able to do that on a card. <laughs> look at that. Like if you... um, Hold on. So I got this little piece of... um. Let's use this side. I got this little piece of cardstock. Look how cute that would be to put at the top and get that perfect little angle. That's really cool. Carol asks, are the lines between the plastic or printed on the plastic? Printed on. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing, but at the top. So I'm going to turn my ruler. Actually, I'm going to go this way this time. And I'm going to use the same line I used. Now, that's the thing you've got to remember each time. Which line did I use? So I'm using, just to make y'all be proud of me for not using that sharp edge to point with. I'm using the 1 16th. And again, I'm lining it up with the top of my wording. I'm going to move my mic for a second. Got it. I'm good. All right. And then I'm going to come back in with my blade again, holding it down. Now, look, here's another reason I don't want to press too hard. I just want to pass. If I press too hard, I'm going to move that little piece that's inside there. I am putting some pressure down with my finger on it. I'm through now. I can tell. So pick this guy up and look what I've done. Made a mess there. Um, hmm. I did. But look. Isn't that cute? And isn't that much better than how we try to do it with our trimmer? I think it is. Now it even gets better. So my sides are not straight. Now I would throw that in my trimmer and be done with that. I would just trim that up. But I'm going to show you what you can do with this. Okay. Using your same piece, what we've been doing, I can come right here. Got to turn it around. You do have to remember which way you're putting your lines. I can come right here and I can go a sixteenth of an inch away. Okay, let me show you this. A sixteenth of an inch away from that um, S. But see that line that's on the bottom right there? Here's what's cool. I can line that up with the bottom of my cardstock and make sure I'm making a straight cut. It's super cool, y'all. Okay, this is an interesting question. Are the lines printed on top of the ruler? The back. Or under the ruler? On the back. So under the ruler. Look at that. This, y'all, th if you're a stamper, card maker... This is an investment piece. This is one you need. I just think that. Because I can line that up at the bottom with one line, line it up with another line right here. I think Ileana's done great on this tool. I really like it. And I'm going to... It does more, too. Hold on. But wait, there's more. Look what I just was able to do. Is this where you go? It's 99, 1995. <laughs> I actually don't know how much it is. I don't either. Look at that. That is awesome. Seriously. It, it really is, Kathy. It is a game changer. I think it is. All right, I'm going to put this one aside, and we're going to go to this one that I did a little straighter. But remember, this one has descenders. So this makes things a little bit different, okay? With a descender, you cannot line your um, little 1 16th inch line up with the bottom of your letters. You have to line it up with the bottom of the descender, if that makes sense. So you want to make sure that wherever you're going to, if you wanted a sixteenth of an inch away from your descender, that's what the line you have to line it up with. So that's what I've got right there. So I'm just going to run through and cut. Kathy says it's $19.99. What? Yep. For both of these? Yeah. I'm shocked. I really am. Well, hopefully I got it priced right. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody might want to check that. Um, okay, I'm going to do a sixteenth of an inch away here as well. And again, you got to use the, you know, on this part, I'm using the tallest part of the letter, which is, I guess, an ascender. If you have a descender, you have an ascender, right? All right. I guess you got to have one to have the other. Yep. I think this is going to be crooked because I think this font is up and down. I'm not sure. I'm just lining it up with the font. 
And I think these letters don't exact look that thing went yeah, it's a little bit uh not much wonky. Maybe not wonky at all. And then again, let's say I want a longer piece, but this is too long away. Maybe I want it to be an eighth of an inch away from the letter. Put the eighth the eighth of an inch mark next to the letter. And also remember, use that little grid line right here to help you get it straight. So this time I'm going to cut an eighth of an inch away. Now there is one thing, see, that's an eighth of an inch away from the P. This is amazing. There is one thing I'm going to caution you about that I think could be an issue. I'm going to tell you that in just a second. Let me finish cutting this. Well, I'll tell you as I'm cutting it. You need to make sure you do not put your fingers over this. Now, it shouldn't be a problem because I noticed I did it a while ago and I did like this and I kind of put my hand over that slot. I can feel it. If you feel it, you need to move it. <laughs> That's your mark. If you feel it, move it. Oh, I did this one again. Look, my blade slipped. Do you see that? I felt it do it. I got a little bit froggy on that one. It might be loose. It's not. I'm going to cheat it because you guys would do this too. You would not line all that back up again. It's just a little fuzz on the edge. Okay, so that's how that part works. But wait, there's more. I walked away again. It's on you, Ben. Oh, that's encouraging. I love when you do that to me. Leave me hanging there. I'll be back. I'll be back. Let me get a piece of cardstock. Just a scrap piece. Okay. Scrap piece of cardstock. A little bit of AGG. That's actually what we call it around here, by the way. I don't think I've ever said that on camera. I've always called it art glitter glue. I got a new bottle. And nobody's the wiser. Sneaky thing, you. I got a new bottle. I got a new bottle. No, you wouldn't do this because this is a little bit wasteful. See where I glued that right to the middle there? Okay, let me put my fine. I'm gonna put my stopper top back in. Okay, so here's what you can do. You know what these guys Jackie do? Said, Return to sender. You know what these guys do? Address unknown. <laughs> this guy good. does it. It's really funny. Oh, so now you're telling me we have. I need to get rid of those. No, I do not think that. I think there's a place for these as well. Maybe. I, I think there is. Let me tell you. Let me tell you why there's a place for these. Okay. These guys have a lip and they will catch on your cardstock. You can feel them catch. That's bonus. You're not going to get that with this. And I don't believe that she designed this tool for this. I think it's just a bonus that it works. I think she designed it for this part. Okay. So here's what happens. Using those same lines... We can now cut borders. So I'm going to cut an eighth of an inch border around this little piece. Boom. All I'm doing is lining that eighth of an inch up with the bottom of my white cardstock. Holding everything in place. Keep your blade to the inside. And that'll keep you from getting that little hop skip I got earlier. Not putting your blade back at the same spot is what causes that. Did you hear what I was saying when Jackie typed? Yes. <laughs> Return D sender. Return to sender. That's yeah. cute. You didn't even give me no props. I actually did not get it. Or give her props either. I didn't get it till that very moment. Mm, yeah. So look go. what I just did. Where where y'all at? I I know. I already hear y'all going, what? And guys, you ready for this? And they're going, well, that's cool. The slot in here is six inches. Brace yourselves. Where's my notes? <laughs> I can measure it again, but I had no, I actually had notes. The slot in the big one, 12 inches. The slot in the big one, I want to say, is 13. Wow, that's cool. It's 13 inches. So these go 12. <laughs> this goes 13. There you go. It's like, turn it up to 12. Okay. Turn down for what? How cool right but i'm not done i gotta show y'all something else that's fixing oh to really my. change the game i'm serious all my journal buddies all my card sending i need to step away again yes. wow i'm back i had an envelope <laughs> we did have a question about the pin blades 
Y'all, the pin blades are, are, are becoming a little more of a challenge. So I just, just don't understand. <laughs> it, leave it, it alone. <laughs> it, it, they just won't. They refuse to leave it alone. At one point in time, you, we bought three in a kit, and then they went to, you couldn't buy the kit no more. And now they've gone to just one Singles. size, I think. Yeah, just one single side. Do you know yeah. which one it is? No, I can't remember. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna line this envelope up. This is the envelope. This is the flap right here at the top. I'm lining this envelope up. So I would I wouldn't, but if I were gonna write my return address on the front of the envelope, I'd put it here. But I always write my return address on the flap on the back. I don't know why. That's just who I am. But I want to show you something. You can do this. You can line your little ruler up wherever you want it. Use your grid lines here to help. Use a mechanical pencil. You do have to have mechanical because you got to feed the lead out a little bit. Feed it out. You got to let the lead out. Sometimes you got to do that. Yeah. Then you put this into the slot and you lightly draw. I'm going to go a little heavier so y'all can see it. But you just trace across it in the slot. Okay. But if you go lightly, you can erase it. All right. So you. Can we do a shout out? Mm -hmm. Say hi to Joanne Villa. Remember how to do a shout out? You have to back up and shout it out. Loud, babe. You said shout it but out. But what you used to do was lean back and go, Joanne, you just like yeah, shout their first oh, name. Man, you know. <laughs> oh my goodness, back on track. Okay, check this out. Hey, Joanne, glad you're with us today. So now, <laughs> thanks, Joanne. Now, from this line, I'm going to use my ruler and I'm going to make a line dis a distance away from it. Let's make it uh, three eighths of an inch. How about that? So, can what you do, hold on one second. Ahead. What you do is you, here's my cut a line, here's my slot. I come up one, two, three eighths, and I've lined it up with my last pencil mark. And watch this three eighths of an inch. Mm. I'm going to do it again. All right, you can ask a question now. I just wanted to show that. Um, I got to find it again. Oh, does the big one have a hole in one end so you can hang it up? Neither of them have a hole. There's a hole. There's a hole. There's not a hole in the bottom of this ruler. No hole. There's no hole. No hole. Um, check this. I'm I'm loving this. Now, let me tell you why I'm loving this. For multiple reasons. But one of them is for my journalers out there. But look at this. You send a card to May May. Oh, let me do it in pen. Uh, Crafty Dream Studio Molly. It is supposed to be on its way. Well, now you have to tell everybody. Well, not your mama cardstock. Okay. Isn't that neat? Mm. And then it's like. I wish that y'all could have seen my Uncle Steve's handwriting. Gosh. There's a hole in the bucket, dear Liza. Dear you remember Liza. Uncle Steve's handwriting? No, I don't know that I ever saw his handwriting. He was a draftsman. It so was, he probably had to write very neat. And Uncle Martin's is that way, too. Uncle Martin's is that way now. Amazing handwriting. Even when they're not, because, you know, they use a ruler to keep it all straight on the bottom. But even when they didn't do that, they still have gorgeous handwriting. I've never had good handwriting ever a day of my life. <laughs> ever a day. All right. And then I'm going to use my mono eraser because it's really good. And remember, I pressed down too hard because I wanted y'all to see it on camera. That's one complaint I get a lot. If I use a pencil on camera, people complain because I don't I don't make my marks dark enough. This time I made them too dark. Well, great. Now I'm seeing there's a hole in the bottom. See, thanks. What about there's a hole, dear Liza, dear Liza, dear Liza, there's a hole. Oh, hole in the bucket. Mm-hmm. My lines were way too dark. I pressed real hard. But look, no one would ever know I had to have lines if I did them like I was supposed to do them. Look at that. That's cool. I said your handwriting is very pretty. No, thank you, but it's really... And look, I slowed way down to get that to happen. And Trent said you should do a computer font with your handwriting. 
Mm, y'all don't want that. <laughs> now, you would like Vince's. Vince's is great. Check it out, y'all. I'm just real impressed. Is anybody else? Uh, quite a few people are. I'm just real impressed. And you can't beat that price. I'm going to tell y'all, let's compare it to another ruler that I'm very fond of. Don't say a name, but how much is that ruler that I'm very fond of? Um, I don't remember. I don't remember either. That one right there. Nope, this one. <laughs> oh, how much is that one? Yeah, do you know? You'll have to look it up because I don't want to say the name. I'm not comparing names. I'm just not doing it. But if you think about what you've paid for rulers and you get both of these. And you know what? I, ha I saw somebody say, I wish you to put them single so I could buy just one. But the thing is this, for that price and you get both, you don't have to decide. Or you don't have to get one and then go, I wish I'd have gotten that one. You get them both. And you're going to use this ruler. Now, my scrapbooking friends, where's Lisa? Lisa's going to love this ruler. This is going to be her fave. Another thing you can do is what are you serious yeah. my other fave is twelve dollars <laughs> i cannot even do count numbers <laughs> so sad seven dollars yeah does anybody wonder how i got 12 from seven <laughs> i don't know i don't know either i don't know how i did okay so another thing you can do with it is use it to line stuff up like say i wanted to put this in you know on a certain spot i can draw my lines Using this, like I did, and then use it to line up images. Come on. Come on. Not to mention, and there's going to be a top tip about this. Um, do you know if a rotary blade will fit through that? Mm -mm, it's not going to. It's going to have to be a blade blade. It's going to have any, pretty much any um, X-Acto style or craft knife style is going to. Also, not to mention this, and this works with any ruler that's acetate or, what is this? This is acrylic. You can always use it like this too, as a um, stamper. It's not it's not perfect, but if you have a um, stamp that's too long, you can do that. That'll be a top tip over on Product Parade. All right, you guys are not subscribing to Product Parade fast enough for me to give away a cutting machine. Okay. I gotta get on the stick. I need you if you're a subscriber to Meme Made It. Um, on YouTube and you watch my videos, I need you to head over to Product Parade. It's called May May's Product Parade on YouTube and I need you to subscribe to that channel. We're putting up top tips. I'm going to be doing my product stuff over there. We're going to be doing some, we're going to, I think we're going to house most of Brenda's videos over there. I think we've decided that a lot of you guys enjoy Brenda, but some of you guys, it's not your style. So rather than put it into my mix, we're going to put Brenda over there too on the Product Parade because she wants to start showing y'all different products and stuff too. So go over there and subscribe. And if we get to 100,000 subscribers, or when we do, because I feel like in a few years, if it if we can't do it faster, when we get to 100,000, I'm giving away a cutting machine of your choice, meaning either a silhouette or a brother scan and cut or a cricket machine. Those are the ones we can choose from. All right? So make sure you subscribe over there. And we got a lot of um, top tips coming. I've been filming a bunch this week. Okay. You have been filming a bunch this week. They want to see your handwriting. You write our address. It's not anything impressive. Write it to, write some, to me, May May, and our address. It is pretty, too. I like it. Okay. That is the cut -a line I think these will be gone by the afternoon. Listen, the ones we have in stock will probably be gone. If you look online and you cannot find one online, I know we have some in the retail store. And I've told you guys before that we keep our retail store and our uh, back store inventory separate. So if we, if we run out online, call the front desk and let her... Um, order it for you that way okay um subscribe to Vinny's Vittles too he's got a viewer not only viewer um submitted recipe but the viewer even brought all of the ingredients last week for us yep I sure did isn't his handwriting pretty it's so masculine I love it well there you go <laughs> I love how you put LLC you're such a man <laughs> well I mean that's your habit he writes the bills <laughs> That's how I do he does it. the bills and the paperwork. <laughs> so there you go. If you mail it to us, you don't have to put that in there. You can just do it like that. <laughs> Sorry. You're okay. I just think it's cute. All right. So that is the cut -a line We are going to head, um, do the tails with the ruler. What do you mean? 
Well, they said um, someone's comment earlier said you can do tails with the ruler as well. I'm not exactly sure what that. What do they means, mean by so. tails? Tails. You're not going to read oh. the rulers. Oh, no. you mean the uh, fish tails? Yeah, if we run out of them, no, we will be reordering them. No, they'll be coming back. One of the things, when we have a tool like this that's new that I've never even touched, we learned our lesson one time with a tool. <laughs> Let me tell y'all. I know people get angry when I say this, but we really are a mom and pop shop, and I know people get mad about that, but here's the deal. One time I invested a whole bunch of money into a product I thought was going to be fantastic and bought every yeah, single did. thing that went with it and everything and a whole bunch of big volume, and it was not good. And so every time I order something, Vince says to me, this is not going to be that all over again, is it? And I'm like, I haven't touched this product. So he'll order a healthy amount, and then if I love it, he orders Fish again. Tails. Yeah, you can do it with this. I wouldn't, though. Let me show you something. Here's why I wouldn't. You could line this up and do that and all that kind of stuff for the fishtails. But the secret for fishtails is Christina Werner's secret, which is the way to go. Let me find a little strip. You wouldn't cut this, but I've already got this. You wouldn't make this one fishtails, but I will. Christina Warner's tip is this. Take your scissors and snip halfway up and then go from one corner to that mark and then from one corner to that mark. And you just about, um, if you take your time and do that right, you just about can't beat that. That's a, a really good tip. My, um, well, can't see it that way. But to me, that's the easiest way. I would still use these versus line this up for a fishtail. Unless it was a big old, if it was a big old piece I was doing them in, I would. But there you go, guys. I love it. I hope you guys like it. If you want to grab one of these, they are in the store. Did we, um, did we put the link in? You, by the way, some, yes, I think somebody's asking. A times. You get both in one package. They come together for 19, is it 19.99? Yes, ma'am. I mean, come on. That is amazing amazing all right we're gonna head to the crafter after show i don't have a whole lot today for the crafter after show we're gonna head to the crafter after show and i'm gonna need There's just a, whole a minute bunch of stuff up front oh so. i didn't know about it yeah okay i'm gonna need just a minute because you guys said you wanted our faces in the video and today when jordan was trying to set that up we were having a little bit of a hiccup so i'm gonna try to get that set up so um give us about 10 maybe we might need 15 minutes but we'll be right back as soon as we get that set up thank you guys so much and um <laughs> Hey, do we have a, um, Billy Sue asked, uh, is there a video that tells your history and how you guys got into YouTubing and your store? There's not, you know, I've thought about that because there's a, um, a channel I watch called Hercules Candy, which I love. Shout out to Hercules. Go, go subscribe. And they did a video, just a real casual video where, um, subscribers ask questions and they answered them and about when they got started. It was really good. And I thought, you know, we don't have a single thing about that. Talk. Uh, we've talked about it a lot, but yeah. we don't have like a well, one maybe place. We should do that. I like the idea. Maybe we could put it on the Product Parade channel. There you go. Yeah. That'd be, I, I don't know. It might be good here too. You guys might like it. Um, a lot of people are saying, I thought Tamitha left. Tamitha is pursuing her next career, but as she can, because you know, it's hard to work for me full time while applying and doing interviews. So that's why she decided to make the um, change she did or, or the change when she did. But when she's available, she's going to moderate for us anytime she can. And we appreciate that. So again, Tamitha hasn't left the fam. Tam is still fam. She is definitely still fam. She's still fam. That's not the point. She So I know that can be a little confusing, but she's just extremely helpful. And um, she's helping us in lots of ways where she can, just because she loves us. And we appreciate that. And we love her too. And we're always going to be here for her too. So thank y'all for noticing that she's still here because she's amazing. All right, guys, I'm going to go and get ready for Crafter After Show. And we will see you guys back here in just a little bit. But first, I have to remember how to stop this thing every week. I have to remember. <laughs> All right. Talk to you in a few minutes. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.